Well, welcome back to another edition of Missions Monday. One of the Proverbs says, like cold water is to a weary soul, so is good news from a distant land. It is our pleasure and privilege to have heart cry missionary Tobias with us from Germany. So, Tobias, how are you doing this day? I'm very, very well. Thank you so much. Well, praise Glad the Lord. Uh, well, there's been some... Uh, encouraging things that's been coming out of Germany. But I know that in your latest update, I know my heart was uplifted from the news from a distant land. Can you speak about what's been going on there? Yes. Yeah, we had um, the, the, the privilege to, to baptize four people a few weeks ago. Um, it was not e easy to, to organize the baptisms because in, in Germany it's still... Uh, well, very difficult under the, the, the measures they are st that are still in place with regard to, to COVID. And um, yeah, so we, we met um, at, a, at a lake early in the morning on a Saturday and, and had the four baptisms. Wow. And um, it, it was a very blessed time. And uh, yeah, we had, we had three, three brothers two of them from, from Africa, from Ethiopia, wow. one, one from Germany, a very, very young, young man who was uh, converted only recently, and then one sister we baptized. Well, tell me about the sister. I know she had kind of a, a special testimony, and you highlighted it in your, in your latest update. And I know for me, it was very encouraging to hear. Yes. Yeah, true. You know, the... the yeah, this the, the sister really has a, has a special testimony. She, she grew up in a, in a family that, that called itself Christian, but actually was not. Uh, um, at home, things were very ungodly, very wicked. And um, the parents divorced when, when she was seven years old. And they divorced on, on the grounds of adultery. So many, many things had, had been going on even before this divorce. And, and after, after the divorce, the parents often had changes in, in relationships and partners. And, and she stayed first with her mother, then with her father. And, and she moved, I think, six times within four years. So always with, with change, changes of, in, of schools, etc. So it was a very difficult time. And then finally, she, she settled to, to stay with, with her father. But then the father also had a had a new partner, and um, and this woman was really was really mean to her, and, and she 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 said, you know, she wrote in her testimony that she felt that she couldn't even breathe anymore at home. So it was a very very difficult situation as a child, and 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 then then she she, she somehow wanted to escape the, these these bad conditions at home and. And, and try to find refuge in, in, you know, in, in a life of fornication herself. Had had many boyfriends and 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 she did parties and alcohol and drugs and pills. Mm. Um, but of course, this this didn't help. But it made th things worse. Mm. And and she really began to hate herself. And and yeah, she hated her sin, hated her life, and, and hated herself. And and so th this led to her even hurting herself, cutting herself. If you, if you see her arm, it, it's, it's, it's just you know, full of scars. Um, and she also, also, also wanted to take her own life uh, several times and wrote, wrote several um, suicide notes. So she, she, she really, it was really very dark in her life. And, um, and, and then somehow the Lord sent her to us. Uh, she, it's it's about a year ago when she first came to our church, and and we we were able to talk with her and um and 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 told her that she, you know, we re 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 really pled with her to 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 leave her life behind, her old life, to to also leave her her boyfriend who was also wicked and and, and an unbeliever. Uh, and, and under, you know, with tears, she, she confessed that, that she really wants to do that. And I, I, I remember the next, the next Sunday she came, she came to, to, to the church and, and she had her bags in her hand. And she had said, she, well, she, she told her boyfriend, 
you're either coming with me to church or I leave. And, and, and so she left, she left him and she was there with, with her bags and, and it was, was really, was really great. And we praised the Lord. Um, but then she didn't return. She was gone. And we heard that she, she got back, went back to her boyfriend. So she wasn't really able to, to cut these, these ties and, and really, really get, get away from him. So, yeah, so that, that was really sad. And, and we didn't hear from her again until a, a few months ago. Um, when, when one of, of, of our brothers met her by coincidence and, um, and, and he, he didn't know her because uh, he wasn't there when, when she came. So he didn't even know her. She, he just saw that he had, that she had, had a, had a cross on her, on her necklace and, and asked her about it and then told her, well, there's a good church. You should go there. And well, this was our church. And she really struggled if, if she would, would even be allowed to come back because she felt he had, she had, um, hadn't, hadn't, uh, not, not, yeah, abused our trust. And, and she wasn't, wasn't sure if she w- would be welcomed if, if she came back. But, but she finally did. Thanks, thanks be to God, she did. And, and, it, and, it, and we talked about with her, she had left her boyfriend at, at that time then. And we talked about her about with her about the gospel, and she understood the gospel, but it was very difficult for her to to, to believe that this really applied to herself personally, because you know she hated herself, she couldn't couldn't forgive herself for her for her sins, and she had difficulty to believe that that God would be able to forgive her and and to love her, so she she struggled with that. Um, but, but finally, yeah, by God's grace, she, she really had had a breakthrough and, and she believed the gospel. She believed that, that, that Christ had really died for her and that her sins can be forgiven. And, and when that happened, when she was really, really converted, yeah, she, she really repented and, and believed the gospel. Her life changed um, dramatically. You know, um, uh, when we, you know, when we told the church that we wanted to baptize her and, and welcome her in a church membership, I, I thought that, that many church members would come and have reservations because she lived such an ungodly life and so on. And indeed, many, many church members came, but, but no one had, um, had any doubts, but they, they all told me how encouraged they were uh, when, when, because they, they saw, saw the changes in her life. She was very humble and she is so loving and, and always, always looking where she can, uh, can serve others. So th- this change in her life was dramatically so that everyone in, in, in the church recognized that. And we were very happy and, and very grateful to God for his grace that we could now, could now baptize her. And she's now a member of our church. Brother, that is absolutely amazing. Uh, there's some recent news with her as well, right? Yes. Gave up. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, God not not only saved her and uh, yeah. and and made her part of our, of our church, uh, but indeed because of of her really, you know, of all this this humble lovingness and so on. Um, there was also a brother, a very faithful brother in our church, who also. Um, well, who also saw all the changes uh, in her, and yeah, she, she asked her she asked her to marry him, and so the two are engaged, and it is precisely one month from now wow. that uh, that we want to to have have their wedding. <laughs> wow, brother, that is absolutely amazing. I'm always astonished and encouraged when I hear God's work in the lives of individual bringing beauty out of ashes, raising up the poor and the needy from the dust heap and making a whole change for the entire life. That is absolutely amazing. Now, you know, just in talking about testimonies in general, Mm -hmm. what about if someone heard that and they hear about, you know, someone who is brought from such a dark place of cutting and a, a suicide and a broken family and they hear that themselves and they grew up in a Christian home and they didn't have some of the darkness experienced as others. And they would come to you and say, you know, well, that makes my testimony just look weak. It just looks like nothing in comparison to what we've just heard. How would you counsel 
someone like that. Yeah, that, that, that really uh, happens um, quite often. Yeah, that's not unusual um, because people are always looking for for a really, yeah, m m really marvelous um, conversion for everyone to see, um, like yeah, like this sister, or, or if you look at the Bible, like 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 Paul had. So, um, but. But that, that's not you know not not everyone has has such such an experience, and um, it's also not necessary. You know, if 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 God has has been very gracious for you all your life uh, through, and and maybe you, you really grow up in a in a in a true Christian family, and and he he spared you from some some really wicked sins and really bad experiences. Um, that's not something bad. That is that is also the grace of God working. And mm -hmm. and and what we have to understand is the Bible clearly clearly speaks that there is no one who seeks God. That's so right. even even if you lived a, a outwardly righteous life and you didn't have such darkness and, and such grievous sins like like others had, and 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 so your conversion doesn't seem so marvelous, it still is, because. Every conversion requires a, a change of heart. God has to work and has to has has to pull, to pull out your your old heart and and give you a new heart. And this is always a miraculous wonder uh, worked by God. Um, so if, if if people come and 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 uh, yeah and and have this and have have these thoughts, I always encourage them to, to look at their life now because some some sometimes there are even people who ca cannot even point to to any any particular point in time that they don't really know when they were saved. And so in, in these cases, I tell them, you know, it, it's not about, about the, about the time point in time and, and what exactly happened. The question is, has God work uh, on, yeah, with your heart? You know, it, it, are you saved now? Yeah. Do you believe, do you believe you have forgiveness of sins? Are you a new creature? Yeah. And and this is always a, a marvelous act of God, and it doesn't. It's not. It's not so important how it happened. It is important that it happened, and that you understand that this is really uh, a great, a great gift of of God, a great grace working in your life. Yeah, it's absolutely miraculous. Whether it is out of the depth of darkness or out of the depth and darkness of self righteousness and outward yes. conformity. Yes. That truly is a miraculous thing. And I think you hit the nail right on the center of the head. It doesn't, you know, a lot of people, especially in the States, when you ask them, are they a Christian? They always point to a past experience, mm -hmm. but you know, the past experience does not technically save you. It's just, how are you living now? You know, are you trusting and entrusting yourself to the Lord now? Are you dependent upon him for his righteousness, or is there still some kind of, I'm going to work good deeds to bring favor between me and God? No, that's great yes. points, brother. I appreciate it. Well, brother, in closing, is there anything else you would like to say? And or do you have any prayer requests that the viewers can, you know, get behind you with and pray for? Yes. Um, I think you, you can pray just in general for the situation here in Germany and 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 for our work here so it's it's really a dark place and we need we need men who uh, who really preach the truth so so pray that that um, that people will be saved here that that the testimony we heard of our sister will not be the last one but that there will be many people who are saved and and um yeah and, and just you know, just just pray for our church, and we the, the times in, in in Germany are still very difficult. We still have many measures um, regarding COVID nineteen, many limitations also regarding church service, and we don't actually we don't know when this will end because now they're already talking about uh, new restrictions in 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 fall. So yeah, just pray for the situation here, so we will be able to continue our work and. Yeah, and, 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 and continue to see how God is, is working, even in our country. Well, brother, we truly appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day and being with us and letting us know what the Lord is doing there. We truly appreciate it. And I would ask all the viewers here to just take a couple of moments, take a couple of minutes today or when you watch this and uh, just 
beseech the Lord on behalf of Germany, uh, beseech the Lord uh, that God would raise up more gospel workers for the labor, uh, for the fields are truly white with the harvest. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we just ask that you would pray for Germany and that uh, you would pray that his name would be great among the nations. Thank you.